So I'm like, I'm gonna actually give a to my brothers and sisters. Um, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to be doing a long, long awaited video. I have been trying so hard all day today to film this video. So we're just gonna literally jump right into it. I don't wanna talk too much. Um, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna talk about this new purse that I've had my eyes on you guys for literally about a good six months straight. Well, no, no, no. I have my eyes on the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, but it's just too expensive. And I don't mind spending that much money on it, but I just, I wanted to find something a little more cost um, efficient and something that wasn't so expensive. I don't know about you guys, but like, I love my coin. Um, I work hard for it, but at the same time, it's like you don't want to. If I could get something that's equally as good and it's good quality, I'm not gonna spend my money on something that's far more expensive. It doesn't make sense. So, what I've had my eye on for a while is this coach purse. Um, I didn't get it, no, 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 I did. I just reordered another one. Um, in the color I actually I intentionally wanted the first time. Um, I love creams and browns as you can see um i love plain colors so i decided to go ahead and make the purchase because of black friday i waited specifically for that so i went to the coach outlet website and i purchased <sighs> my new baby you guys this purse is huge okay like she's huge and I am in love. I'm the kind of person I unnecessarily carry way too much, period. And I'm working on it. Um, I purchased two other purses with this one um, just to kind of try some different things out. But this was my favorite. So we're going to literally jump into it. What I was going to do was I was going to clean it out, make it look all pretty. Um, I even went and purchased some bags for it today to put in here. But I was like, you know what? Mm -mm. we're just gonna jump right into it i'm gonna show y'all exactly like what's it it's a lot <laughs> and it's so huge so i love the fact that it has these little feet um at the bottom of it um and i love surprisingly i was like i don't really know why this is purple and light purple and orange but i really like this um but this does come off so this does come off um, you have the choice to take it off and you also have the choice to carry it this way so you can carry it like this um, and I find that when I'm shopping like today I went to the mall and I I used it that way I don't really like to use it on my shoulder too much unless I'm like I don't know getting out of the car or going to the mall but I mainly carry it like this so we're going to get into what is in the sucker. I've had this purse now for about a couple days. I've had it for a couple days. I haven't had it that long. So I wanted to try it out for a little bit and see how I liked it. And I am absolutely in love with my new freaking purse. Um, so we're just going to jump right into what is exactly what's in it. So um, it has, what I love too is that it has two pockets, two zippy pockets right here oh it's heavy y'all so it has two little zipper pockets it has a zipper pocket right here that zips up and then it has a pocket here and then a pocket here and then on this side let me see if I can this. Maybe that's so on this side it also has a zipper pocket as well so those are the only two compartments it has I wish it had a little pocket or a little zipper or something right here i feel like this is the perfect purse to travel with um because i have three kiddos i am notorious for throwing bottles diapers wipes if you're a mom you know what i'm talking about you just throw everything in it because it's more convenient and my kids really aren't in the diaper bag stage anymore so as they're getting older it's just easier to throw some snacks in there throw a diaper in there throw some wipes in there and get out the door um haven't done it yet I don't really want to do that with this purse because my kids literally only need like diapers and wipes and a bottle 
and then some snacks and then they're good so try to make my purse about me make it a mommy purse so to tell you guys exactly i kept a little receipt to show you guys to tell you what kind of purse it is so this is the let's see because i have a couple things on here this is the signature it's abbreviated too so i don't know the name i can tell you how much it was though so this purse was only um 149 um that's what it rang up to and that's not the original price like i said i got it off of black friday so so it was 149.25 um but this is the signature tote um red lining it's not really red maybe that's the wrong one i'm gonna link it down below because i'm not 100 percent sure so yeah let's get right into it so i can show y'all what's in here now like i said i have not cleaned this purse out yet um i went shopping today i had to go to the mall to get a couple things today so i literally just took things i haven't taken anything out so let's just get into it so first thing i'm pulling out is my wallet um this is just the dooney and burke um wallet i like this wallet a lot um it's really i love how sturdy it feels and i love the texture of this wallet i love the fact that it has a little change pouch in the back because i don't like to keep change as much as i don't like to keep changing the bottom of my purse it always finds a way it ends up at the bottom of my purse but i love this wallet because it has a little simple little pouch here and i love the like the material and the color of the aesthetic of the inside of it but it has a little pouch here and then it has a i'm trying to show y'all too much a pouch there and then it has a little pouch here i don't I'm a spender. So what I found is if I use cash, I sometimes end up going to the bank and drawing out money, but I try to keep cash on me and I try to budget. That's something I'm working on. Mm -hmm. But that's for another video. Um, going into my purse, I have money in here. SubhanAllah. Um, I have y'all. I have cash in here. Um, so I'm talking about, um, I keep cash in here. I went to the ATM so that way I could stay in a budget and not use my card. Cause if I use my card, I do too much, but I have a little bit of cash in here. And then I have this winter candy apple hand lotion in here with this purse. I love the fact that I can keep large sizes of things. So if I know that I'm going to be the purpose, the purpose of the purse was like, you know, traveling, um, work. And then just being able to keep large sizes of things in here. So this is one of the things I keep in here. It's a large size of Bath & Body Works winter candy lotion. I love the way that it smells. And then just going into the purse, um, I also have my ring light for my mirror, my makeup mirror charger in here. I don't know why this is in here. Suspicion is maybe one of my kids put it in there. And then I have this winter candy fragrance. Again, I love the fact that I can keep large sizes of things in this purse. Um, and then I have a pouch from my guest purse in here that just holds so much miscellaneous crap that I don't even probably need. But we're going to get into it real quick. I have a first aid kit in here um, because I am the queen of scratching myself breaking a nail or breaking my nail down to the bed like literally to the bed um or just my one of my kids get hurt a band-aid and the band-aids that i'm currently loving y'all are these my tone band-aids if you don't know now you know um johnson and johnson made these my tone band-aids and i literally keep so many in here i love the fact that they are my skin tone so i keep those in there and then I keep my foot brace, my uh, foot brace in here as well because recently I hurt my foot, so I keep this in there. Then I keep a pin in here with COVID and everything. I don't like touching everybody else's pin, so I keep my own. Then I have an hourglass um, little uh, blush in here, and this is in the tone radiant bronze light. I love the way this looks on me. This is the Hourglass um, brand. I love this so much. I love it. It's really creamy. 
and then I have a Morphe matte lip gloss in here and then a NARS uh, Climax um, mascara in here and then another Morphe lip gloss in here. I love this tone on me as well. This is in the shade uh, Grupal, Groupy, Grupal. Y'all, it's late. It's 12 o'clock. I'm tired. This is the shade Groupy. I just said Grupal. Just time to... <laughs> um, and then I have my Apple Watch in here as well. It died while I was out and about, so I took it off. Um, and then I have just a regular chapstick. This is in Cotton Candy. Then I have a lip liner. Um, and I keep a Hemp's hand sanitizer on me at all time. I got a lot of these from Ultra. Um, they had a little deal going on for them. So I got a ton of these. I love the fact that it keeps my hands moisturized. So I keep that in there. Then I have another lip gloss. This is the Satin Nectar um, from Blistex. I love the way that this smells. And then I have a couple of rings that I had on today that I decided to take off. These are from Old Navy. Um, I love the way that they look. Is it focusing? It's not. But I just love the way that they look. It's not really focusing. I love them. They're really simple. They're dainty. They're cute. So I have a couple of those in there. And then that's literally it for this bag. I love this bag because it has a lining in it. It's the leopard lining. I love that. So this is a good little pouch I keep in my purse. So that way... Um, I can just keep missing these things that I know I'm gonna need. Um, and I just keep them in here so they, I know where they are. So that's all that's in here. And this is just a guest little bag that came in one of my other purses. So that's that. And then I also keep, let's see, what's in here? My perfume. Um, this is another perfume that I just recently purchased. I do not know how to pronunciate the name, but if you know, you know. Um, I'm gonna post it down below, but I love the way that this perfume smells, you guys, okay? It's real simple, I bought two of them. So one's more like radiant, the other one is more like floral, if that makes sense. But this one smells so freaking good. I think I got, I placed an order for the small one, like the really small travel size, because I don't wanna keep this one in my big, like my smaller purses. So I ordered this one in a small, the smaller bottle. It smells so good. Um, I keep my house keys in here. Then I keep this bag in here and this bag is specifically for my chargers. My camera, all of my chargers go in here. That's literally all that goes in this bag. Then I always stay with a face mask. Um, this is from Old Navy. It's a simple little face mask. Put it on, handle your business. And then I have a, another bag in here, just like this one. And this is more so the hygiene bag. So I keep everything hygiene related in this one. Um, I keep a pair of undergarments in this bag. Um, as a mama who just had, I've had three kids. So my bladder is not the same. And two, sometimes um, you get so distracted or whatever, you forget your cycle is coming on or you forget, not forget that your cycle is coming on, but sometimes your cycle come on and you're out and about and you know, who trying to walk around with period panties on? Because I'm not. So keep a pair of undergarments in your purse. I do. If you don't keep a pair of undergarments in your purse, honey, you need to. As a woman, you need to because you never know what's going to happen. So I always keep a pair of undergarments on me. And that I recently started doing that. Um, I keep pads in my undergarments and panty liners, but I keep a pair of underwear with me for anything that may happen. With the undergarments, um, I also keep some honey pot um, feminine spray with me as well. Um, and then I have this very sexy um, body fragrance in travel sides. Um, I love my scents, you guys. I love the way I smell. I love smelling good. 
um i don't like having an odor at all i don't like smelling sometimes when i go out to a restaurant um and i get back in the car i smell like where i just came from and i don't like that so i'll spruce myself up with fragrance this is my new favorite um in the victoria's secrets line um it's just a fine fragrance and it's called very sexy night so i have the larger bottle then i have the travel size bottle and then I also have lotions in here as well. Let's see, I have both of them. It's just this one. So I just keep this Hemp's um, Apricot um, Body Lotion or Hand Lotion with me as well. I love, I've recently jumped into that brand, um, the Hemp's brand. I never really liked it before, but I really just love being in Alaska. You need to have a variety of hand lotions to wear. So I really, really, really like this. I like the way that it smells. I bought a ton of their travel sized lotions just to, you know, have because you never know. Then I keep this Crest mouthwash in here. And then I keep a very soft, um, or no, Soft and Dreamy by Pink. Um, I think by now everybody kind of either has or has had this fragrance. It smells good. But this is more so, it depends on the vibe. I told y'all, I like my fragrances. I think that's like three, four fragrances already. Um, and then I keep Lysol with me because COVID and everything. And then I also keep this um, Monet. I work for the brand Monet. And I freaking love the way that this oil smells, okay? I freaking love it and I love for some odd reason I'm a sucker for packaging so I am absolutely in love if a package looks really really cute I'm all for it and it could be the crappiest package but <laughs> I love the way that a package looks and this looks so damn cute they made this in a travel size um so I think I'm gonna go over to my website and I'm going to purchase it I don't even know why I'm done it yet but I'm going to um for my smaller bags my smaller coach bag and I, it's, you, I just don't like carrying this around i can't put this whole bag inside of my smaller bags so i think i'm gonna go on over there and i'm going to definitely get me um some of the travel ones the, the travel size little oils but this oil is so it smells like oranges and i also keep a tampon in here I keep this deodorant in here um, because I'm in love with the way that it smells. But my recent favorite has been Native, okay? I, I'd i heard about Native before, but I was like, mm, 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 no. It smells exactly what it says. It smells like coconut and freaking vanilla. And I bought a larger bottle of it, larger um, size of it, and I tried it on and I actually freaking liked it and it smell I smell like vanilla and coconut all day long so I keep these smaller ones on me because I'm not keeping a large size of the odor in my pool. and then I keep pads in here for bladder control um, and for my period but mainly for bladder control um, these are the honeypot brand probably about just about the only pads that I'll wear on and off my period um, I love the way that these smell. They make your lady parts smell really, really good. Um, if you bend down, you smell like peppermint all day long. And I love the way that it smells. <laughs> I love the way that it smells. And then I keep these Summer's Eve little um, travel size. That's wipes. literally all that I keep inside of this hygiene bag. I got a receipt from Walmart from today in here. And then a little thing from the covid um tent that i recently went to and then a star that my daughter gave me a little ribbon and then this is for my portable charger not my portable charger this is for my portable um i forgot what it's called it's my little hard drive for my computer to back things up that's what this is for it's not even supposed to be in here but that is literally the bottom of my purse and I don't even feel like that was a lot, to be honest. So what I'm keeping in this pocket right... Ooh, I always hit myself, I swear. 
what I'm keeping in this little pocket right here is my, I'm a little nasally y'all, so work with me. Um, what I keep in this little pouch that I just showed you is my tablet. So I keep my tablet in that pouch. It's big enough to fit it in it. It's convenient for me. And then I also keep my Apple Pencil as well right there in that pouch. So I don't really, I make my grocery list on my tablet. So what I do is I just take it out when I'm grocery shopping and I refer to everything that's on that list. So I keep that in my purse. Um, and then what's in these little pouches right here on the side. And also what's in that zipper is just more daggone junk. Don't make no sense. Let's just take it out like this. <laughs> mm, I should have cleaned this out, but it is what it is. We're going to do it. So another face mask with some makeup on it. And then um, more money and a receipt from the commissary. And then my military ID, my Beats um, headphones. I am in love with these headphones. I wanted to get AirPods. I really did. But the problem that I have with the AirPods is that I just, I, I, I lose things already. Like I lose these and thankfully they connect it. You know what I mean? They're connected. But if I lose a pair of $200 headphones, like what sense does that even make? That's, that's my only problem. Like if you lose them, you just lost $200. Cause now you gotta go buy another pair that just, cost efficiently don't make no sense to me so i stick with those um they're easy to find i know where they are i tie them right here at the bottom just like so mm -hmm, just like this and i keep these little suckers right in here bada bing bada bam it came with a pouch but i don't i'm pretty sure my son threw it in the trash can because i can't find it to save my dad on life um, and then I think that's, no, remember I just told y'all I don't keep change in my purse, right? In that pocket is a whole bunch of change. I just hate having a ton of change in my purse like at the bottom of it. It's, the change is so dirty. Money is dirty in general, but change is just so dirty and I really hate having change in the bottom of my purse. Um, and then in those two pockets, I have my vape pen and then I have another Morphe, um, this is a little glittery Morphe um, lip gloss. This one's in Froze. Yeah, Froze. And then this one, um, this vape pen, I am in, I like it, but it's really, really, really menthol. -y. And this is the mango, um, this is the mango one, and it's just really menthol. -y. I'm really not using it a lot. I'm sticking to this cotton candy one and then i think it's upstairs it's the strawberry and banana those are the two that works for me this one is just so like mm -mm. i just don't know why it's so menthol -y. like it's just so like it's strong like it's menthol i ain't dumb i know that but like it's just very like mint it's mango though they need to get it together then in this other little pocket beside it, I have um, $25 off a $75 purchase. I don't know why I didn't use this for my last Victoria person, uh, my last Victoria's Secrets purchase. I could have used this, but I didn't. And I may just go buy some more undergarments and use that. Let's see what else is in here. More daggone freaking change. I don't even know why I said I don't keep changing here because... Here we go again. I look like a whole damn liar. More dad on change. Um, and that's literally that's it. And then a little coach thingy. So riddle me this, y'all. Why doesn't aren't all coach purses supposed to come with like the little satin bag that zips up or that like you know draw, draw uh, the jawstring? I'm really shocked that this purse did not come with the actual little bag maybe you have to order it separately but i'm really shocked that it did not come with the actual bag 
but um like I said, I've had my eyes on this purse for a long time because I'm the type of gal that I carry, I carry a lot. I carry so freaking much. It's something that I was like, you know, I need to stop doing. But now I'm just like, at this point, I'm a mom of three. I carry a lot. I figure I'm kind of high maintenance. At this point, I'm high maintenance. I think I'm high maintenance. I do. Oh, this hurt my ear. Mm -mm. I'm high maintenance. So I feel like if I need it, I need to be able to put it in my purse and take it with me. So if I need undergarments, so if I need to put another hijab in my purse, that's what's missing. Um, I took this hijab out of my purse. I keep a spare hijab on me just in case I'm out and about. Like one time I spilled coffee on myself and as a Muslim woman, you're not trying to walk around with no daggone freaking Starbucks coffee on your hijab, or at least I'm not. So I like to carry another hijab with me or my prayer mat with me as well sometimes because sometimes I have to pray when I'm out in public. It's my Starbucks tumblers as well. Um, so that's literally like, that's it. That's really all I keep in my purse. I feel like I keep so much more in there. Like it changes, it fluctuates. But for now, that's literally all that was in my new baby. My new coach baby. It's so cute. I love the fact that the little feet are on the bottom so it doesn't damage the bottom of the purse. It feels so sturdy. As of now, that's literally all that's in my purse. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as you see, I don't keep a lot in here. Well, I do. That's a lie. I do keep a lot in there. But I feel like I kept more in there. But either or, that's all. And that concludes literally this entire video. Um, if you guys made it to the end, I thank you so, so, so much. If you guys have any suggestions on what else I should keep in my bag, please leave a comment down below. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, my beautiful ox and sisters. 